when do you think Microsoft will make a brand new Windows or OS, and how long do you think it will take? I would say they tried the whole Windows 10, this is going to be the last OS thing, and then they realized, ooh, we're missing a lot of money with Windows 11. They relaunched that. So probably 2027 or 2025, it depends on how much money they need uh, for Windows 12. So probably... I'd say we start seeing betas and alphas starting to hit a lot of the development community in 2025, maybe even as soon as 2024, and uh, Windows 12 comes out. It depends on adoption of Windows 11 as well and what could happen. One thing that could accelerate all these plans is Microsoft's big bet on AI. They might do an AI OS, which is just a fancy way of saying, hey, we can milk our customer base by telling people it's advanced, things are faster, AI optimizes you and is at your fingertips. And really what it'll be a glorified Bing search on your start bar and then they can charge you $200 for a new operating system and then market it and package it differently as they've done in the past for every single OS release. It's depends on what bandwagon they wanna jump on to you know, milk their users like they always do. So that's my expectations for Windows 12. Some kind of AI gimmick uh, from the desktop so they can get more money out of their users. Yeah, I think that's, that's about right. <laughs> I'm a little cynical, but then again, I've gone through Windows 95, 98, Millennium Edition, 2000 Workstation, XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, 10, 11, and pretty much all the server releases too, so I kind of figure that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Windows 7 is kind of hot garbage these days though. There's such a, it's such a huge security risk, like... As long as you're not putting it on the internet, you'll be fine. But, yeah. It's so easy to exploit the SMB protocol in Windows 7 boxes. Hell, uh, if you want to mess with it, and you've got Linux installed, and you want to hack into Windows 7 users, uh, Metasploit. Check this out. Metasploit. You can just use Kali Linux, too. But grab Metasploit. You should be able to hack into most Windows 7 uh, computers with this. Um, but don't don't run or put like anything important on a Windows 7 computer. You're going to get <laughs> you're going to get hacked. <laughs> uh, but, you know, as long as you're not doing anything silly, you'll be fine. Like, like my father-in-law, he still has a Windows XP computer. He just doesn't put it on the internet and I think he has a couple like old programs and it just sits there as just a dumb terminal. And uh, you know, it's been going for like 20 years for him and he's just like, I'm not gonna change it. I'm like, don't, just don't ever connect it to the internet. You'll be fine. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't, and it just does what he needs it to do. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't block at updates. Like Windows is something, like, same with Linux and Mac too. You still need to get those security updates. It's just not getting the feature updates. That's the big thing. There's two types of updates in Windows, feature updates and security updates. Make sure you do not use uh, the feature updates, especially on release. Always, always bad.